Margaret Sims has already won $14,500. She is back to try to make it again to the bonus print today on Scrabble. An eight-letter word. The clue is you wouldn't want to give him a hand. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All righty. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home Viewer Word was sent in by Alice, uh, Alice Thorson from La Crosse, Wisconsin. I know where that is. Got a T-shirt for you, Alice. Uh, today, the jackpot in our bonus stands at 5000 We finally knocked that baby off. Uh, today's winner is going to get a chance that later on the show, and Charlie has our first two players. She's our champion. He's a professional Frisbee player. From Santa Ana, California, Margaret Sims. And from Geneva, New York, Harvey Brandt. All right, nice to have you both here. Margaret's rich. <laughs> She's a rich person. I've never Four had this much money ever. Isn't that wonderful? $14,500. <laughs> Isn't it great? I know. What are you going to do with it? Oh, just, it couldn't have come at a better time, really. We just, this is tax month, and we're in a one-bedroom apartment, so we need to get out of that quick. Well, bless your heart. That's great. I'm, I'm happy for you. I really Thank am. Thank you. Yeah. I am Congratulations. amazed. Congratulations. Have you told your husband yet? He's not here yet. No. no. I mean, he's not here, so later. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good, good. How you doing, Harvey? Pretty good so far today. Oh, good. You're a professional. A fr I didn't know you had professional Frisbee players. I am players. a professional Frisbee player. I've done demonstrations all over the country and out of the country, Saudi Arabia included, traveled around. Saudi Arabia? Four oil companies did demonstrations, and I've moved from New York to San Diego because that's pretty much where the Frisbee play the is happening. Frisbee and, uh, capital of the world. Uh, pretty Diego. much, exactly. And I even brought one to give you a little demonstration. Oh, great. Just some of the things we do, just spinning it. Mm. A little bit of a balancing act, then. I knew I was going to drop that. <laughs> you didn't drop it. <laughs> During the break, we'll be throwing them back and forth, have a lot of fun here. Who wants to see us? You're the challenger, I'm the challenger. Harvey. We're going to play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Have a chance, the bonus sprint worth 5000 Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. Building on the letter A. Nine letters in the word, and the clue is... It keeps you from getting your feelings hurt. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget those pink and blue bonus squares. They're worth money. It keeps you from getting your feelings hurt. Okay, let's start out with the one in the five. N or an N? I'll take an N. <laughs> First position in the word, it keeps you from getting your feelings hurt. Let's have the other N. <laughs> okay, I'll have to go with the six and the two. V or an I? Let me have the I. Okay, give me the V. Almost a little, almost a little quick there. I think I know. Well, there are it, three but, stoppers uh, out. It's yeah. up to you. Whatever you want to do. There is, there is a little money though, so we'll take the three, and we'll take the eleven. Give me an O. Did that buzz? Oh, give it's me, good enough. Go give ahead. me Novocaine. Yeah, that's right. You couldn't miss on that. You have both, no. both O's to cover you. You were in good shape. One, two, three, four, five hundred. <laughs> Margaret's over there smiling like unto a possum. She can care less. I mean, you know, exactly right. Fourteen five. What do I care? Let him have it all. <laughs> okay, Building on the letter I in Novocaine, seven letters in the word. The clue is ladies' home companion. Okay. Um, let's take the six. And the nine. Y and a K. Um, the Y, please. Ah, uh, that's a stopper. Ah, uh, she doesn't I care. She doesn't who cares. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Harvey. Okay, give me a lucky one. N or a uh, K? N's have been good so yeah, far. Yeah, N's have treated you nicely. So give me the N. All right. <laughs> Worth five hundred dollars oh. this time too. Ladies' home companion. Ladies' home companion. Uh, don't really see it. Uh, maybe I should, but give me a K. Hmm. Well, I don't see it, and there's still money. So two and three. L and a Q. L and a Q. Okay, let's take the L. Five hundred dollars. Ladies' home companion. 
Milkman. That's right, it is. A <laughs> Who wrote that? <laughs> Did Jan write that? Uh, are you having a problem at home, Jan? <laughs> what, 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 what prompted that? I, I was a milkman. I was a milkman, I say. Good with figure. I like that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I was a milkman. I was a milkman by Pockets Jen. Getting full. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, Margaret, it's two to nothing, and here we go. Building on the letter A in milkman, nine letters in the word. The clue is: some of them fly south for the winter. Some of them fly south for the winter. That's right. Okay, let's take lucky seven and the eleven. K or an I? Um, the K. Can you imagine? Boy, and a good good thing this didn't happen yesterday. Yeah. Harvey. <laughs> okay, we'll take uh, one again. S and an I. Okay. Uh, give me the S. Okay. Some of them fly south for the winter. Give me the I. It's worth five hundred dollars again. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! A little early. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Two and ten. D and an R. D and an R. See the D. Hmm, he said. Uh, I have to try the R. Back to you, Margaret. You're in the game. If you can get this one, some of them fly south for the winter is the clue. Okay. Well, I don't know, but I'll go for the four and the nine. A and a Y. Um, the A, please. One thousand dollars. Some of them fly south for the winter. I don't know it, darn no. it. No, you have to take uh, oh, the wife. Oh, the wife. The wife's still there. Yeah. Why? And it's a stopper. Do you know it, Harvey? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last letter's up to you. Some of them fly south for the winter. Ready? Go. Some of them. Margaret. Canadians. That's right. Canadians fly south for the winter. Okay, Margaret, since... Oh. That takes us out of that. We're in speed word still, so let's continue in speed word. Margaret's trying to tie it up. Harvey's going for the game. We're building on the letter A in Canadians, five letters in the word, and the clue is... Magicians often have one in their hat. Ready? Go. Magicians. Margaret. Rabbit. No. No. Oh, two these. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Harvey, you're all alone. Okay. Magicians often have one in their hat. Go. Label. Label, that's right, yeah. Well, it was that kind of thing that they caught you with it, that's all. I know. They just kind of caught you and made you think of rabbit. Yeah, but good night. <laughs> you had such a great day yesterday. You had one of the all-time good days, you know that. Yeah. Some people work weeks to get that it, much money. It made my day. Yeah, so you have 14500 You can get out of that one-room apartment and yeah. pay your taxes and do all that stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll tell you. Not just a guy who can throw a frisbee. Oh. $1,500 going to play Scrabble Sprint. Congratulations to you. Thank Very you. Nicely done. Thank you. We'll come back right after this. Thank you. And now, back to Scrabble in Chuck Willery. 1,500, going to establish a time. Winner of the next crossword is going to try to beat it. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Here we go. First word, five letters. Sometimes you hear it after a slap. Sometimes you hear it after a slap? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. Y. P. P. Sometimes you hear it after a slap. H. Happy. That's right. Slap happy. Real odd, but it's going to be just as odd for the next day. Exactly. Second word, six letters. They are also rands. They are also rands. Ready? Okay. Go. S. R. S. They're also rands. E. L. Losers. Yes. The third word has eight letters. A member of the board. A member of the board. Ready? Yes. Go. R. L. P. 
A member of the board. S. E. A member of the board. T. N. Splinter. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are playing with our tiny little minds up here, aren't you? These are tough. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, last word, nine letters. They like to throw their weight around. They like to throw their weight around. Ready? Okay. Go. W. Wrestlers. That's right. Very nicely done. Give you a normal one and bingo. I got the W, I was saying. 26 points. I think it's a pretty good time, frankly. I we'll find it. out uh, right after this. See you. Yeah, it's a slap happy with Craft Bell. Holly Grant's our champion. We have two new contestants, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's an entomologist. He's a computer operator. From Bakersfield, California, Nancy Vogel. And from Torrance, California, Danny Trujillo. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Nancy? So you're an entomologist, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm happily married. I have a two-year-old little son named Josh. Right. And before I started raising him, I was raising beneficial insects for a large farming corporation up in Bakersfield. <laughs> what kind of insects? I mean, spiders, stuff like that, or what? Um, spider mites and six-spotted thrips. Little tiny guys. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd really need an injection for. A six, a three-spot, what was it? A <laughs> six-spotted six thrip. What is that? Um, Beneficial insects are raised so that they'll eat the bad insects. Oh, that's right. Okay, I got you. Yeah, farming. I was thinking right. of uh, killing a disease. Right, so you use less pesticides. Gotcha. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. It's nice <laughs> it's to okay. have you here, Nancy. Good Thank luck you. To you. Hi, Danny. How you doing? Fine. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a full-time student at California State University, Long Beach, mm -hmm. and I'm a swing ship uh, computer operator at the nation's largest privately owned real estate development company in Irvine, California. Great. Well, it's nice to have you here. Uh, who won the tossback stage? I did. Let's go to the board. We're building on the letter R, eight letters in the word. And the clue is, congressmen sometimes raise them on the floor of the house. Okay, I'm going to take tile one and number four. O or a B? I'll take the B. Okay, I think I need to take the O also. The congressmen sometimes raise them on the floor of the house. Okay, I'll take the tile five and a two. W and a D. I'll take the W. All right, I think I'm going to have to answer it. Congressmen sometimes raise them on the floor of the house. Eyebrows? That's right, that's what they raise. Very nicely done. Okay, Nancy, building on the letter O and eyebrows, five letters in the word. The clue is some uh, dropouts think it's the end of the line. Some dropouts think it's the end of the line. Yes. Okay, well, I'll take two tiles, the seven and the one. P or a W? How about that W? Yeah. Some dropouts think it's the end of the line. Okay. It's kind of a Pat okay. Sajak type puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> All right, well, well I'm swimming in a sea of confusion, so I'm going to take a tile here. P or an M? All right, let me take the... Well, only one, uh, only one left. Some dropouts think it's the end of the line, Nancy. Okay, I'll take the three. A or an M? I'll take the M, please. It's worth five hundred dollars. Some dropouts think it's the end of the line. I just don't see it yet. So, um, I'll take that A. Okay, I'm. Drawing a blank, so I'll have to take two more. Two and a six. Another M and a Z. Some dropouts think, think it's, it's the, the end, end of the line. line. I don't know where my brain is. Let's see. How about Z? That's all three of you. You know what it is, Danny? Well, I'm afraid I don't. Okay, let's play speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last one's up to you. Some dropouts think it's the end of the line. Ready? Go. I told you it was kind of a Pat Sajak. It is. It is. This is, uh, this is highly intellectual. <laughs> How many of you know what it is? I yeah. think comma is the end of the line instead of a period. I, well, now see, if I say that, it's going to be a reflection on my feelings about Pat, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Okay, we're still in speed word, building on the letter A and comma, seven letters in the word, and the clue is most parents are glad when they finally get them out of the house. Ready? Go. Most parents are glad when they finally get them out of the house. Danny? Roaches? That's right. <clears throat> Boy, I had them out just there. Don't get me wrong. All right. Building on the letter R in roaches, six letters in the word. The clue is Pablo Picasso used to draw them. Ready? Go. Pablo Picasso used to draw them. Danny? Uh, crowd. Oh, she did get it. Sorry, I didn't even see you hit it. Good for you. I was watching your hands instead of the lights in front of you. Building on the letter W in crowd, seven letters in the word. And the clue is for the man on the run. For the man on the run. Ready? Go. For the man on the run. Nancy. Ski wear? That's right. It's all tied up. Anybody's game. It's a good one. Okay, building on the letter W, nine letters in the word. The clue is a cleaning solution. Ready? Go. A cleaning solution. Bath water? Bath water, exactly right. All right. Very nicely done. I thought she was going to get you there for a minute. You had that kind of glazed look over your face, but you didn't. Well, Nancy, we got some, uh, what do we got for her? Luggage. Luggage, okay. <laughs> Nancy, for it. you, Skyway's beautiful new luggage, Evolution. Combines fabric elegance with hard side strength and greater packing capacity. Furnished by Skyway Luggage. All right, well, I hope you enjoy that. Take Thanks. a trip, will you? Bye-bye, right. <laughs> Bye-bye, all right, Danny's going to come back and play Scrabble Sprint right after this. We'll be back. That's the first time in five years. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Harvey Brandt, $26.9, $1,500. Danny Trujillo has uh, 500 trying for this for $1,000. Let's see what happens, Danny. Uh, same words, remind you to hit your plunger, that's what stops the clock, and no stoppers. Okay. First word, five letters. Sometimes you hear it after a slap. Ready? Yes. Go. Y. P. Sometimes you hear it after a P. slap. A. Happy? Yes, slap happy. Second word, six letters. They're also rams. They're also rams. Ready? Ready. Go. O. L. S. They're also rams. R. Losers. Yes. Third word has eight letters. A member of the board. A member of the board. Ready? Ready. Go. R. N. T. A member of the board. E. P. S. Splinter. That's correct. 2.6 seconds left for the last word. Nine letters. They like to throw their weight around. They like to throw their weight around. Ready? Ready. Go. R. Bouncy. Uh, uh, if you have had the W, you'd have had it. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's right on you. He was on your face. He was, you guys had about identical time. He got that off the first letter on wrestling because he was in real trouble up to that Good point. Uh, you both really, you know, slap happy just didn't come easy. You got losers quicker than he did because he went back to front with it. And Squinter, you got about in the same time. In fact, he may have had a little more time at the end than you had. It's hard to tell. Yeah, well, it was real close. Good game. Thank you. Good game. Thank you, Danny, very much. Very we much. appreciate it. And uh, Harvey's going to come back and try for $1,000. Uh, pardon me, five thousand dollars. Right after this. Well, that was really close. I thought, boy, if he sees that W in the heart. And now back to Chuck Willery and today's winner, two thousand five hundred trying for five. Two words under ten seconds. Simple. Ten seconds. Two words, ten okay. seconds. Five seconds apiece. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. Six letters. The final resting place. The final resting place. Or the final resting place. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. N. B. The 
final resting place. Yay, A. Heaven. Yes. <laughs> Coffin. Well, I mean, I, I tried to give you one of those mortician yeah. readings, but well, I'm afraid it didn't work. Uh, coffin would have fit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second word, seven letters. They let the good times roll. Hmm. They let the good times roll. They let the good times roll. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. L. B. They let the good times roll. Bowlers. You got it. That's it, Harvey. <laughs> That's a great win. Because uh, when you missed heaven that much, I thought you were going to have a work cut out for you. It was. But Bowling was not that easy without the right letters okay, as well. Cool. Well, there you go. And my mother got me a Testament in the show. All right. Well, that's great. You can thank your mom then. Thank her. Thanks, Mom. You we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> See you all. <laughs> Come on down. Due to a technical problem, a crossword was recreated. Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Red Grundy production.